This is Michael, Jesse. You me, of course. <laughs> We're here in Belfast. We're here at Carrick Fergus Castle, and I think we may be the only three people in the castle. <laughs> it's our first stop, and then we are not doing a Game of Thrones tour. Not? No. Not None of us are watchers. <laughs> Not her, not, not him, nor me. <laughs> so after this lovely tour of this castle, we're going up to the Giant's Causeway. We're in the Great Hall part of the castle. Whew, got some creepy vibes going on in here. I think I'm, uh, whew, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. I think it's a square basketball hoop. <laughs> He's about six, seven, so it's really perfect. I don't know, Michael, what is your theory on this thing? Um. Well, to get scientific, <laughs> I think this is one of the first English proto-rockets were fired. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. All evidence seems to point in that direction. <laughs> Up? Up. <laughs> so that's it. We got basketball hoop and proto-rocket? Proto is that? But probably held a, a lantern or a torch. Nah. Yeah. So well, you've been here for a while, huh? It's, uh, where are you looking? Got, uh, got something in your hand there? I think you're gonna be here for a while, bro. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. So we're leaving Carrick Fergus Castle. Michael and I just played a game of chess, which I may have lost. May have. There is no conclusion in that. <laughs> the odds are very high. <laughs> we, we can either confirm or, or deny. deny. <laughs> Just like ghost hunters. We can either confirm or deny the possibility that Cassie may have lost in a game of chess in this Irish castle. Just potentially. But we're not saying for sure whether or not she has no more pride left in her in this very moment. <laughs> Cat. <laughs> chess. Gi giant game of chess in Furry Wick Castle. Furry. <laughs> in Carrie Wake Castle. <laughs> Curry Feathers. <laughs> this is free feathers. Okay. We're going to go eat some food now and get our brains back. So we're here at the Giant's Causeway. We haven't gone very far. We we're barely down the path, but I wanted to walk on some rocks. But I'm hopping along. Jesse and Michael are making their way back there. How you doing, guys? Doing good. Piece of cake. Great. <laughs> Piece of cake. Of this is only the first part of, I don't even know how far this goes. We shall see. I'm just glad to be back by the ocean, per the usual. This is a beautiful scenery, right? Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Michael's going to make it. Yeah. <laughs> this is my decision. Curtain. But uh, when are you going to be in Ireland again? Right? Exactly. There you go. <laughs> so we're taking one for the team. Walking up this beautiful, beautiful hill. Because of nature. And Ireland. So I just wanted to get a lovely sprawling view of the Giant's Causeway here. Well, more of it. There's these crazy, like, hexagonal rock formations here. Hey. There's my, there's my friend Jesse. <laughs> and here's something crazy. Y'all missed it because it wasn't on here. But my best friend here just got engaged. Show him that ring. Oh, woo! What's a blink blink there? We come up here for a giant cause. Way. This has been the whole trip. Anyway, I <laughs> just want to share that because it's pretty exciting. And I'm pretty excited for you. High five! <laughs> Woo! So you know what happens sometimes, sometimes, when you travel. You get really, really busy and then you forget to end your videos. Well, you get busy. <laughs> Meaning, <laughs> you wear your friends out. <laughs> your last day together. <gasps> You get sick, and then one of you is in pain, <laughs> and then there's only one of you left that can actually walk on two feet. And you made the mistake of booking an Airbnb that's super cozy, and so you just decide to spend the day in. And the next morning you have to get up at oh dark 30 to drive to the airport, drop off a rental car, and spend all day in the airport getting Getting to the station, not having a ticket that you printed out and unable to get a refund, and then having to book coach tickets last minute, and then getting a train ticket to get to that coach, and then pretty much essentially spending 13 hours of your day traveling from Ireland back to Leicester. I mean, all the while, 
all the while, making sure you're regularly taking that cold medicine that only does so much. Mmm. Mmm-mm-mm. -mm -mm. That is travel, my friends. That, that is travel. And then on top of all this, you had to say goodbye to your best friend this morning. Your best friend and your new best friend. <laughs> Michael and Jesse. <laughs> so, I thought I was gonna close up this video in Ireland, but uh, uh, we all got <laughs> too sick or in pain or busy and tired to film it. So this is the end. My last trip before I leave the UK. Sayonara. <laughs>